Hello and welcome. Thank you for attending the webinar on Ivan Hospitality Solution. My name is Agnish Chen and I will be your host for today's session. I'm also joining today with set of panelists who will help me in delivering the session and answer your questions. Much as I would like to start the session now, let's give a couple of minutes to everyone to settle down and wait for the people who are joining in currently. I would like to share with everyone that we have an overwhelming response for today's session where people have joined in from all part of the world. So very good morning, afternoon and evening to everyone. Okay, before we start, few housekeeping lists of item for today's session. Uh, you may chat with our panelists. You may also ask question using ask question option in your GoToWebinar panel. You can also use raise hand option to raise your hand and we will unmute your line for you to ask the questions. In any case, we will have Q&A session in the end of this webinar. Now I will take the session forward. Ivan Hospitality, a point of sale solution designed to optimize food and beverage operations. In this presentation, we will perform an overview of the feature functions on offer. It is an industry vertical layer with a strong foundation at its base in, in Ivan Retail Management Suite. Ivan Hospitality is fully integrated restaurant management solution with multilingual point of sale system designed to cater to the unique requirements of uh, restaurants, bar, uh, nightclubs, cafes of, of all sizes. The solution will improve your guest appreciation, loyalty. It will help you in reducing the order and checkout time, create menu flexibly, decrease operational costs and allow you to focus on crafting a more unique dining experience. And it is an end-to-end -end retail management solution. It is integrated to all possible ERPs mentioned here. The solution is highly scalable, easy to deploy and use and maintain. Uh, you will have low cost of ownership using this solution. Going forward, uh, Ivan Hospitality Management Solution uh, configuration sections allow you to set up and manage the restaurant master data, uh, such as journal settings, uh, floor and tables, printer and monitors, modifiers, and, and other master and screens uh, from management console uh, in Ivan. Ivan hospitality management configurations allow you to set up all these uh, masters uh, to, to configure the restaurant operations very well and seamless. You can you can you can create tables, virtual tables, table tags, status, um, kitchen, and with related to printer and monitors, you can set up your KOT setups, KOT mappings to the print printers. You can define modifier items. You can you can configure reservation module, waiting list, uh, so on and so forth you will have a complete operational visibility. Uh, so valuable reporting and um, analyticals, analytics to adjust dining menus uh, based on your past uh, sales data. Uh, it, it helps you in reducing uh, waste with accurate inventory practices. So what, what you can do is, uh, centrally manage promotions, offers, coupons and campaign management and business intelligent, intelligence uh, graphical report dashboard to track the entire performance of the retail business. We also offer configurable uh, visual floor layouts for enhanced and uh, easy intuitive drag and drop design functionality to position the tables in the floor layout grids. Uh, we also have a service mode based table view uh, so that uh, in, in a restaurant floor view, 
uh, what you can you what you can see all the tables if they are in different service mode you'll be able to see them in different color uh, so so you can have a greater efficiency in operations and you can organize tables in a configurable colors actually to enhance the visibility yeah and then um, you can have you can view the current table occupancy chart uh, in a, in a tabular format you can configure data auto refreshes on the screen uh, to display the latest updates in time uh, you can you can track the performances uh, with the built-in reports and dashboards in the system. This all you will get inbuilt into the system. And next is, mm, so basically to the heart of the restaurant operations, you can manage table orders and guest reservations very well. This is how a table layout is going to look like. Uh, as I as I said, all the tables in different service mode will have different colors, and and the screen below shows you how you can actually drag and drop and place the tables based on your uh, floor layout. Uh, yeah, and so you can what with table and reservations uh, you can actually manage table orders in a visu visual table layout on point of sale for more efficiency uh, you can basically what you can do is you can create close cancel or load orders on point of sale from dine in view so this screen the first screen is nothing but a dining view and you have buttons here in the bottom with which you can you can manage the orders for for, for individual tables you can you can display tables in different color as i said before and then you can move and merge tables at any point in time during the order process you can move all orders uh, from a occup from an occupied table to a vacant uh, table daniel daniel has raised the hand daniel if you have any question can you please write it in the question box all right in the meantime i continue um, so you can you can basically then uh, link multiple tables during the order ordering and billing cycles uh, manage you can manage and pay for order from a parent table while serving to uh, different tables simultaneously uh, you can create unlimited bar tabs or let's say virtual tables uh, so they can then transfer or link to actual tables at any point uh, during the order process mm, you can accommodate this way basically what you can do is you can accommodate unlimited number of customers during peak hours and uh, you can create a party or table reservation based on uh, selected time blocks in the calendar so if, during yeah that I'll show you uh, and then assign table based on so, so we have table tags attached to every table let's say uh, whether the wheelchair access is there high chair uh, for for infants available there or not so based on that you can search for a particular table before assigning them you can send reservation notification to customer and restaurant floor managers mm, and then uh, you can configure and customize reservation notifications via SMS or email for customer or floor managers so templates are available you can customize as per your need you can allow customers to um, opt uh, out for any um, uh, notification if they desire so uh, and very for for quick table operations we do have a wildcard available uh, wildcard operation or codes available with which uh, you do not need to all the time come to the dine-in screen you can do that uh, quick operations on the table directly from the search bar in point of sale so to 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 increase the efficiency you can uh, so additionally uh, we also support a quick service restaurant operation for faster order processings so uh, so with which even you can skip the whole dine-in process altogether and you straight away uh, scan an item take the payment like in any quick restaurant and you can continue at the same time order still goes to kitchen for processing uh, 
and then uh, for for fine dining i would say then hold and fire orders to the kitchen for timely controlled serving is also there uh, so uh, server can decide uh, in what course order and at what time item should go to kitchen for processing and accordingly they will be served on the table yeah these all are there in the meantime let's see uh, if we have any question okay sorry it's all right daniel then let me mm, close this and then um, i'll move on uh, then you have a user friendly point of sale uh, system uh, basically ivan hospitality provides a flexible and easy easy to use point of sale to manage front end front of house operations which includes uh, table management uh, server management and reservations orders splits split bills and partial bills uh, it efficiently communicate with the kitchen to ensure correct and uh, speedy communication with the kitchen uh, and uh, yeah for for customer order preparations uh, and then Ivan hospitality also includes many advanced features like uh, KOT uh, and kitchen order tickets and kitchen display system which is KDS uh, integration a recipe and meal plan management is also there yeah and let's move on then yeah next is uh, so uh, it, it gives your front of house staff the tool they need to create a seamless customer dining experience uh, right from the pause um, a server can actually send order um, straight to the kitchen give information about menu items allergens or special offer or more to 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 the, to the customer uh, they can check status of an order and table uh, they 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 can receive information from kitchen bar when the food and beverages are ready or not so they come to know and then they accordingly they can serve uh, to the customer they they can receive payments they can hand out receipts to the customer they can register customer into a loyalty program from there they can increase the sales with upselling and cross-selling the suggestions they can issue coupons and gift card uh, directly to the customer from point of sale so they can do a lot of operations from kitchen from 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 point of sale from restaurant standpoint these are sample um, uh, kot tickets which can be printed uh, from the system uh, and these receipts are fully customizable sure let me have a look at the question panel once again yeah you can uh, there's one question from Richard uh, Atkinson yeah we can use uh, round tables also so the uh, basically round table is nothing but an attribute attached to a table so you you uh, you, you can you can specify a table tag round table to a table and then you can define how many people can sit on that however graphically you you will be able to see only the table as uh, as as a as a tile on 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 the screen as i showed you before okay uh, let's move on then uh, next is about uh, how enhancing the service management so quickly uh, manage restaurant dining order by course space menu yeah what you can do is you can you can actually manage uh, restaurant dining orders by by course so if this is an optional setting and if you switch it on and every time you add an item to an order uh, system will prompt you to uh, assign a course to a particular item so this way you manage the complete dining order course based uh, uh, you can however you can you can switch off the dining process to override the table order workflow I mean uh, probably uh, sometime if you are a quick service restaurant you do not need to follow uh, all these uh, requirements which are for fine dining restaurant so you can switch them off and you can straight away work as a quick service restaurant so it's the system is fully configurable 
so you can yeah so you have a switchable dynamic processes uh, and then you have a, you can also directly uh, sell items on point of sale which means that sometime a few restaurant used to sell items off the shelf directly to the customer and take the payment so for that you do not need to go through a long lengthy uh, dine in process whereby you manage the complete order and then you sell something off the shelf that way yeah so and and these orders which are selling directly from point of sale they don't go to kitchen even yeah to 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 avoid unnecessary load uh, on 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 kitchen staff uh, and then next is uh, you can and so kitchen staff yeah all right and then the next is uh, you can arrange uh, meal ordering and recipe based on the food course count and seat numbering to simplify uh, uh, and expedite the processes. Uh, you can hold orders in point of sale and, and send them uh, off to the kitchen for course based ordering to optimize uh, actually the service by order and course you can you can pager link orders can be basically uh, you can you can link pager ids to the uh, to the order items so pager link orders can be tracked to each line item in an order to uh, simplify uh, service in a busy food service outlet yeah so we'll see how this is done and then yeah let's move on give me a sec we have some question here all right thanks Richard next is uh, so Ivan hospitality provide mechanism to create well organized uh, uh, and flexible menus um, add you can add and manage recipe from back of the office back of office house plan menus and purchases and set up offers uh, you can add variation to menu items with modifier items and avoid having to create a separate new item each time. So for example, if I'm selling pizza, uh, I may have many variations available in my, in my offering. I do not want to create a separate variants of veg pizza. Uh, yeah, every time uh, if I modify a small ingredient also. So with the help of modifier functionality we can configure the same item and we can we can take a choice of ingredients at runtime and we can define what all ingredients will can be defaulted there and still user can say no to them uh, you can you can charge extra for some of the additional ingredients uh, or you may limit the number of ingredients or choices uh, per per modifier class uh, you can override the main uh, product, uh, the 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 food item price based on the ingredient chosen ingredient. So you can do lot many things with modifier items uh, eventually. And advanced setting allow user to configure the modifiers uh, for any order. So we will we will see to that. And then the next is uh, streamline kitchen communications. Now this is very important for any restaurant operations. Uh, it eliminate risk of miscommunication, uh, prepare and serve the right dishes with speed and precision. Yeah. So kitchen display system, the, this offers real time order tracking with full visibility of time and table location. Mm, and KDS presents all order on touchscreen devices, uh, print receipt tickets for orders uh, along with the KDS if desired. So it's an optional thing. You may have both or you can have only KDS, depends how you configure the system. So run multiple screens and uh, group specific product to appear on each screen location. So basically uh, items are configured based on their product group to the kitchen monitor so it depends you may have vegetarian and non-vegetarian sections in your kitchen so in the same order you may have veg and non-veg items uh, veg items will appear only in the vegetarian uh, on the monitor which are configured to show only the vegetarian products 
and non vegetarian uh, items will be shown to a different monitor uh, as they are configured so yeah this is how uh, to ease operations in the kitchen this is how system is configurable and then we have uh, expedite screen uh, now expedite screen helps this displays all items sent to the kitchen and this is used in conjunction with the kitchen display system uh, to provide floor managers with the visibility of all the item that are awaiting completion so somebody is keeping an eye on all the all the orders sent to the kitchen and then they decide um, uh, at what point in time they, they can mark an uh, order ready for the payment basically uh, so so it's basically it's an it's an again an optional feature if you have a floor manager or a restaurant manager then this screen gonna help them a lot uh, to operate in their operations and then uh, we also support quick order management optionally allow the KDS to be configured to close or close off all open tickets um, in the kitchen automatically as a part of end end of day process so imagine if you are a if you are a very fast fast food chain whereby you 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 take an order you take money you generate the receipt and order goes to kitchen and chef is preparing that and they have no time even to uh, they, they follow the KOTs which are printing uh, from the kitchen they have no time even to punch in on the on the touch screen that this order is marked completed so don't worry about that because we have an optional setting whereby all completed items they will be marked uh, all 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 completed orders basically uh, uh, for them uh, KDS system will mark all the open tickets in the kitchen close at with the uh, at, at during the end of day process of the point of sale. So, yeah, and then completed orders and item, and at the same time we also have a feature whereby a completed order item uh, can be recalled in the kitchen for reprocessing for for any given purpose. So, yeah. So that's easy for chef then uh, and then kitchen order tickets are printed based on product group which I already told you before uh, yeah kitchen order numbers are assigned to each order item based on their uh, product group so yeah this is this is what we are covering up here with the kitchen so KOT numbers and uh, kitchen display systems are very well uh, developed system here in, in Ivan Hospitality Solution. With this, uh, I move on and we, it, I mean, since Ivan is the base, so I can say we have uh, the point of sale accepts various payment of uh, methods of payment in the same transaction. Uh, including gift cards, vouchers, credit and debit cards uh, and payments in multiple currencies. Mm, customized receipts and all reports including uh, transaction KOT receipts, reservation and occupancy reports. So you can customize them as per your need. Mm, and then multiple split bill options are available including manual split what you what you see right now on the screen and then again we you can also split the bill by seat by course product group or even evenly so depend what is your requirement you can split the bill accordingly uh, split bills can be previewed and generated from the point of sale directly uh, tables can be automatically be marked as an open once all bills are linked to the table have been settled uh, optionally you can keep them uh, occupied till the time guest uh, uh, leaves the restaurant and and somebody uh, or rather a point of sale user or server can mark uh, uh, that that uh, table as closed once they do that then only you will be able to uh, make uh, uh, other diner or or guest seated there so uh, so based on setting you can you can use it uh, and then gratuities can be added uh, uh, manually in an order 
or configured automatically by a specific percentage of an order or alternatively by a fixed amount. So flexibility is there for gratuity management. Uh, so I would say it's it's quite configurable there even in, in for gratuity management. Next we have some question here from Monica. Uh, uh, Monica, well, uh, when it comes to taxes and discount, uh, since uh, the solution is based on uh, on IVENT uh, retail, so the way you configured taxes and discounts in IVENT, it will be automatically ap applied on point of sale. Does it? And then the next question is: Does it support uh, multiple currencies like paying uh, forex cash? Uh, and credit card in, in one bill together. Yes, Monica, this is 100% possible because in Ivan you can take any mean of uh, payment at the same time in the, in the in the same order. So it's by default there. Yeah, all right. I will move on from here. Uh, diner loyalty. Yeah. So incentivized customers with loyalty and gift card program, you can. Uh, turn customer into uh, regulars and loyal patrons with Ivan loyalty for hospitality. You can engage loyal customers with targeted marketing, uh, integrate loyalty and gift card program at point of sale. Diners can use their loyalty points actually as a redemption payment method or to obtain a discount or a special deal even. Uh, Collect, you can collect information on your most loyal customers, habits and taste and then use this intellig intelligence to improve your offering. Uh, you can segment your customers based on their habit and interest uh, and send them campaign tailored on their interest and offer discount or special deals even. You can also invite your regular patrons to the VIP dining experience. So I would say it's, it's pretty much covered there from loyalty standpoint as well. Then next is reports. Again, very important topic. And the solution includes a comprehensive suite of customized report as standard, uh, which includes full suite of sales, inventory, cost analysis, end of date, tender collection, order and reservation reports. Uh, customer loyalty uh, or a comprehensive list of business analysis dashboards. So they all are there by default in the system. Ivan Retail also includes a suite of uh, proprietary reports, writing and dashboard designing tool uh, as a standard. And you can use these to customize any of the built-in report uh, or write new reports altogether to add to the existing suite. So up to you, you may if you if you need you can modify the previous one the already existing there or you can create the new reports and Ivan retail provide all the features and functions you could ever want and desire to meet your business need I would say so yeah with this let me see if one more question uh, can you have different pricing for the same product? For example, cash and debit card. Um, I'm not sure about this. I need to check this offline. I'll, I'll keep you posted with this on, on this question. So to continue further, I will straight away now uh, jump to uh, uh, the product. Let me uh, show you how it looks like. So once add-on is installed, uh, I would say then uh, uh, you will see hospitality management as a special menu here, whereby journal settings, which we spoke about before, you will see a lot of settings available here. And based on your configuration, uh, system will start behaving like that. And then kitchen display settings, and then gratuity settings, printing settings, table reservations, notification settings, and you can assign any particular template. You can modify templates. Uh, and then wildcard, and you can give your own wildcard name if you if you don't want to follow the, uh, the, 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 given, the given names uh, or the keywords. Uh, yeah, and 
so based on that uh, very importantly i can once flow tables are defined in the system as a master let's say if if i choose a particular floor i can choose a particular table uh, drag drop a particular table to a location i can save the layout so depends how i want to show uh, how i want to see my uh, table layout or or dine in view uh, to to match it to my uh, actual floor yeah this is what we can do mm, now at the same time modifiers uh, uh, modified classes are very uh, basic uh, master with code and name you define few uh, classes let's say for example if I take one topping I define topping as a modifier class let me show you that then if I choose modifier topping I may add number of modifier which are ingredients basically to my main product so I can define them I can link the product master to each and every modifier here and we are done so this way my modifier classes and modifiers are defined now it's the time to map a product to a modifier mapping so let me choose a particular product so just to give you an example let me take let's say which pizza if I take pizza it shows me that I have currently topping as one of the class crust is another and then going forward uh, yeah only two yeah so let's say if I choose topping now if I choose topping these are the default modifiers available I may include all of them or I can leave few of them as per my product I can mark them as default I can allow my uh, point of sale user to change the quantity for these modifiers ingredients I can say whatever price I define here and whether this price will override my base price of my main product or I would like to charge an additional price so I choose a different checkbox here which says apply price so depending what I what I do here I define the final price of my wedge pizza at runtime at the same time if there is a conflict for some reason then I can choose the price resolution method defined here for a particular product so it is granular to that level when it comes to definition this is how you define the modified product and we will see at runtime now while ordering how it is going to look like after doing so much of configurations going forward rest all our operational screens we will come to that little later in the meantime we have one question here mm, Rob uh, well I'm sorry uh, mobile pause uh, is not uh, is not for uh, so currently this system is designed to run on window operating systems you can use uh, window uh, tablets I would say Microsoft Surface or any other tablet available in the market which runs on window 10 operating system so that way you uh, the the point of sale can be used on on uh, as uh, on tablet devices uh, to 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 serve the purpose uh, next is can we can you have different price level based on till numbers within the same location can you also have timely price level change throughout the day uh, Rob this is good question but I'm sorry I I need some time to answer on this so I'll get back to you offline on this okay next is in what languages the software is available and please clarify the wildcard functionality sure Ravan uh, so basically uh, like Ivent is uh, so the application can be uh, available in any supported language by Ivent so let's say if I talk about Arabic then uh, so application is uh, you can you can translate all the resource strings uh, for for an app for application they are available in an XML file and that way uh, uh, application uh, is is can be globalized uh, for any uh, event supported language point of sale operation so this is how this is the default uh, restaurant 
point of sale template which is uh, provided along with the with the software uh, this point of sale template can be customized uh, to its fullest extent so this is right now what we are showing is uh, all the payment means available here search box the the transaction uh, grid and the header information of the transaction uh, the middle area is, is showing all the product categories and uh, top buttons are related to all uh, default uh, shortcuts for for product to load on the on on the on the order and then these are the main button panel which is related to or your main uh, restaurant operations so let's say if we take an example of a fine dining restaurant then you uh, with the click of a dine-in button you start the operations so yeah, once I click the dine-in button it, it shows me all the floors and the current tables available I may choose let's say any table I can say create order and now order is loaded for me I can I can load and I can choose an item pasta and then I can choose a particular seat or a course for which I'm ordering and course and seat is attached to an item at the same time I may give uh, some uh, default memo uh, or instructions um, let's say uh, little spicy something like this right and I can I can type in I can have my uh, default memos already defined along with the product so I do not need to type every time for the common common memos so yeah I, I said okay and now the memo is attached to my my item and then uh, if I if I want to add an additional item let's say veg pizza then once once I click an item and since this item is a modified type of an item it shows me all the modifier um, classes uh, and the ingredients I may say to the onion no so I I don't want onion and yeah I for crust thick crust something like this so yeah and then I say okay I choose a particular seat a course and then veg pizza is added and based on my ingredients my the price of my main main item is identified and calculated at runtime and I send once if I have nothing more to order I can straight away uh, send an order to the kitchen once I hit the button as my uh, uh, hold and fire functionality is switched on it it, it it asks me whether I want to send all the items to the kitchen in one go or course wise had it been like I had multiple course items I can I can choose I can hold few items and send um, rest to the kitchen uh, and and in uh, turn by turn basically yeah so I th but right now uh, I'll send everything in one go to the kitchen so this is how we take an order we take instructions and we send order to the to the kitchen and right now uh, my uh, open XPS printer is attached so it is asking me to print the uh, uh, KOT so let me print my KOT on desktop let me save it and it is and this is another KOT KOT 2 saved and done so basically my KOTs are printed in the kitchen and in the meantime if I come down uh, if I, and then if you can see this is my this is my first KOT for the pasta which which is right now configured as a main course item so based on different product group a uh, different KOTs will be printed yeah with the with the with my specifications or my memos which I have given along with the along with an item and the second one is here which is starter order a different product group here sorry oh, let me reduce it and then uh, and with the with all the ingredient and instructions given below in the item and this QD will be printed to the kitchen now yeah in the meantime let me see another question here uh, how do you manage the recipe for the product to manage 
the stock. Uh, so basically, uh, you can configure uh, bomb items in your ERP, and uh, and the recipes will be managed accordingly. What all, what all ingredients uh, are are configured here in Ivent, uh, or, or configured, or what all uh, items are configured in your bomb assembly? Uh, they will be uh, the 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 stock will be deducted for for the ingredient items. And we can, Andy, we can send you a, a, a separate email on this topic, which will help you in understanding how uh, assembly or a production bomb or even a product suite bomb need to be defined to understand how how ingredients will be or the inventory will be managed for the ingredients. Uh, next question is from Stephen, which says, can you have a different modifier price by different size of pizza? Yes, of course, we can have this, Stephen. This is possible. And next is from by Richard. Can you uh, set two prices for one item base on eat on and eat out Okay, requirement? Uh, well, that way, I would say currently it is not there in the system, but then you can configure it uh, based on a modifier. So you can have an item as a modifier item and every time you choose a different modifier uh, as an eat on or eat out yeah so like like we like we asked for a cafe the size medium or large right they are not the uh, stock items right the the size of a coffee so uh, same way we can charge separately yeah and then may i see this module working in sage when ordered or ordered or paid uh, well, order dot paid uh, with yeah. So I would say uh, it 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 should uh, work very well with all uh, ERPs which are currently uh, currently integrated with Ivent. Yeah, you will be able to run it along with Sage three hundred as well. All right. So. What we have done last was that we have created an order on point of sale and we send the order to kitchen. Let me go back to now management console and open the kitchen monitor. And I can see I have I have order here, one for pasta and veg pizza. And now as a chef, I can pick any item and mark it in process. Yeah, one by one. And I continue to work. And then uh, my time ticker starts now. Uh, in the in process mode. Now, as we said, uh, we have an expedite monitor also. If I open that, they can they can simply monitor here in the expedite monitor. They can see this item is in in process since zero minutes. So they can keep a track. They just this kind of screen kept open all day in front of them. Data keeps on refreshing. Once they feel that the order is completed or all the items are completed, then they choose a particular order and mark it ready for payment. And then only payments can be taken for the table, right? This is the role of a floor manager or an expedite uh, manager. Okay, now in the meantime, in my kitchen monitor, let's say now I'm done, so item goes away. Even for the veg pizza, it's done. And now if I come to expedite monitor, I can see the color got changed. It says from zero minute it is completed. Now, if 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 William, which who's the server, if he confirms back to the expedite manager that customer has nothing more to order, then these items can be served and uh, order can be then marked ready for payment, and this order will then go away even from here. So uh, from uh, floor manager side from chef they are done and now if i come back and if i go back to the dine-in screen i can choose a particular table get order t9 yeah this is how my order is loaded and it is marked in a billing stage i can generate a bill uh, at any given point in time like this and let me uh bill on desktop, uh, save as a PDF document. Let me show you quickly. Yeah, it is generated here. So if you can see, uh, this is how uh, uh, 
bill which is fully customizable this can be generated and can be given to the customer for the for the payment right i'm coming back to point of sale now so and somebody asked me to explain the wildcard operation uh, in deep so uh, what we can do is let's say if the bill is generated and it is being given to the customer for the payment and in the meantime they are giving uh, credit card or cash whatever mean so let me go back and i know my my table is t9 and i'm on a blank uh, point of sale i can simply say get t9 and say enter so you know this transaction is loaded for me now instead i go to dine in choose the table load the order i can use the wildcard operation in my search box to uh, load the order now similarly now please have a look uh, in the journal settings that we offer you these many wildcards close with the table code get table code so as a server you always know the table code you know that you you need you want to complete t1 or t3 so you need to know the operation code you need to know the table code and that is it and you type in and it's done you can split the bill you can create a new order even by writing create and the table code and the order will be created for new order will be loaded for you on the screen for that particular table so this is what it's all about wildcard operations okay in the meantime i go back to point of sale and if let's say customer has given the money let's say in cash for for demo purposes right now and the currently order is in settle state i can go to cash i can yeah punch in cash amount and this is how ivan completes the transaction and my receipt is printed on desktop and i mark complete and i come back to my point of sale and in the meantime i can show you the receipt it is exactly right now it's exactly the same the way the bill was it's just that it shows the tender type cash change due and total amount and this is your final receipt with the receipt number as well yeah so this is one happy cycle for how uh, dine in uh, uh, how how table order can be taken sent to kitchen and uh, how um, uh, expedite manager or a chef can operate on their screens and how payment can be taken for a particular order additionally what you can do is you can change seat you can change course you can change server at any given point in time you can move tables you can link tables you can split the bill in different different options and in as a reservation module uh, you let me yeah you will have a calendar control you may choose a particular time slot for a particular table or a floor you can choose uh, you can you can create a particular reservation you let's say you choose a particular customer from your database and you you specify uh, some instructions while taking a reservation you specify the time you you can up, you can you can choose multiple you can attach multiple tables here also you can choose tables based on the tags available uh, so depend what kind of table you are looking for uh, somebody asked about the round table also yeah so round table is again an option here uh, so all the round tables will appear here for for the choice and then once you are done that is it and then you press okay and the reservation is created for you in the system like this on the calendar and notifications goes to uh, to the customer and the floor manager if configured yeah so yeah this is it about and um, about it and let me go back to few more questions here like can i have a cust yeah so regarding um, regarding order views uh, uh, for the customer uh, you rightly asked this uh, what we have is that uh, whatever orders are already completed 
uh, you have an order monitor kind of a screen like this which uh, replaces your um, number digit uh, display in your restaurant and this can be placed on any uh, big uh, uh, LED TV uh, where all the orders for a configurable time whatever are completed they will keep listing up here and uh, customer will uh, automatically then can see their order numbers and since when they are completed so any in in fast moving restaurant uh, fast operation restaurants uh, once the items are ready to be served uh, as a, in a self service mode uh, customer can follow this screen can see their order number and uh, they can come and pick up their their, their food items from the delivery shelf uh, can I define a customer from point of yes you can do that uh, Ravan and uh, in in case if you are integrated with SAP Business One you can create a new customer uh, from point of sale as well yes uh, and how does uh, stock and raw material being up updated back to Sage inventory uh, Monica well uh, if your Ivan and uh, uh, Sage ERP is integrated then uh, order uh, it's it, with the direct integration order will go back to uh, Sage as, as a transaction and then your st stock will be deducted ac uh, uh, accordingly and uh, uh, as a as bomb item uh, yeah as a stock or non-stock items and bomb item it will be deducted accordingly uh, in your transaction could you please give us demo product installer for demo and test purposes? Uh, yes, Aika, uh, if you go to uh, CKP, I would say, let me open it for you. Uh, so if you go and if you go to download section, this way you will see Ivan Hospitality and you can download the complete product documentation demo database you can buy licenses eventually once you're convinced that product suits your need then yeah you can go ahead it is available publicly now on city access knowledge portal so you are more than welcome to test this uh, i may be missed but you could please show me the human resource little bit thanks i'm not sure uh, if I understood the question well but probably you can keep us posted uh, with your question uh, on our email ID and we'll get back to you either and can you show us integration screen uh, well there is no integration screen Monica uh, integration is done behind the scene uh, the way the way I went works with uh, SAP business one or SAP ERP or with Sage so I, I do not have any integration screen to show here that how integration is done. Uh, moreover, my current uh, system is uh, a standalone event version, which is not integrated to any ERP. However, you can configure it in an ERP integrated environment and it will work seamless with all the ERPs which are currently supported by uh, event. And unrelated question do you have point of sale for retail uh, well what we are showing you right now is I went Daniel what we are showing you right now is the is a point of sale application only uh, uh, which is Ivan retail and Ivan hospitality is an add-on on top of it uh, and 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 the point of sale what you're looking at right now is fully configurable and you can you can use it you can design each and every button here as per your need and uh, so what you're looking at is nothing but a point of sale application all right uh, moving on with other questions uh, what is the different Ivan what is the difference basically the question should be what is the difference between Ivan retail and Ivan hospitality okay so Monica Ivan Retail is a suite of applications which uh, which helps you manage the complete retail operation of any retail house. And Ivan Point of Sale is one of the component or uh, is what you're looking at right now is Ivan Point of Sale. 
right? This is what you're looking at is Ivan management console. Now, in Ivan point of sale, probably you cannot run all the restaurant related uh, operations very well because you do not have that functionality. To have all these uh, hospitality related uh, screens or operations like, for example, dine-in screen or order management, table management, uh, kitchen display system or KOT printings, we have now given you Ivan hospitality add-on. Once it is installed uh, as an, as an add-on in Ivan management console, then you can use Ivan. Uh, you can use Ivan uh, point of sale or a rather Ivan retail system in any uh, for any restaurant operations. This is what I want to say. All right. Then next is retail for furniture, for instance. Yeah, Daniel. In that case, I would say you can simply use Ivan Retail and uh, Ivan Hospitality probably is not for you. Uh, you simply use Ivan Retail and that should do the job for you. So hospitality is an extension to retail. Yes, you can say that it is like an add-on which is running on top of Ivan Retail. Similarly, we have an optical solution also. It is again running on top of Ivan Retail. So if you have an optical solution opportunity with your customer, you can use that. If you have hospitality opportunity, then you can use Ivan Hospitality add-on. Yeah. Okay. Does it work in, uh, then Richard asked, does it work in offline mode? Of course, yes, Richard. All basic Ivan functionalities work exactly the same way, the way it works with the uh, base application. Okay, all right. Uh, well, yeah. So I guess we have taken all the chat and quick questions. Now, if I move forward, uh, let's uh, open the forum for formally open the forum for question and answer session. Uh, with this, yeah, forum is now open for questions. And for all un unanswered questions right now, I will keep you guys posted on an email. We have one question here. Uh, let me see. Uh, Monica, it's it's hard to say how often does it sync it uh, quantity and all. So it it depends how configurations are done uh, between uh, ERP and and Ivan Retail. At what frequency data is been picked and how efficient is system designed? Accordingly, you will have data. But we have noticed that generally. Um, uh, in, in in under two minutes, you have data sync back uh, in ERP. I'm sure you need to check with the uh, our, our local uh, Ivan local product expert in your region to see uh, how integration works and uh, how. Uh, how much time it takes uh, and then same applies for hospitality add-on data as well. Well, master data, master for Daniel, for master data updating, it is you can update that in Ivan and you can update that in, in ERP both ways actually. Uh, in, in Singapore region, uh, Monica, what you can do is you can contact Frank. Uh, I will I, I have taken a note and I will inform Frank to get in touch with you. All right. Um, yeah, so Daniel's question, master data, can it, it can be created in ERP actually. So yeah, that way you, you'll, you'll have more control uh, in, on, on your system. If you're connected to ERP, you should create your master data in ERP. So with this, we are we are on the finish line now on uh, in terms of time uh, with this i if there are no further questions then i i would like to conclude the session uh, and for more information everybody uh, there are other channels for the information please visit us uh, at uh, uh, ivan.com 
and knowledge.cityaccess.com. You may also contact us at marketing at cityaccess.com for, for questions and uh, opportunities. Uh, thank you. Thanks everybody for your time and I expect the same uh, uh, in, in our further sessions uh, related to hospitality. Thank you. Thanks everybody for your time.